All right, everyone. So there is an elephant in the room. And no, it's not you, Slothy. Hey. <laughs> we have to talk about the big problem with Roblox simulators that not many people talk about. And most simulator games on Roblox suffer from this. Let's talk about it. I just completely read that from Creek. We're on Twitter, everyone. And I just read out Creek Craft's tweet because, I, to be honest, I totally agree. So let's talk about the big problem with Roblox simulators. So let's read through this and let's just gather the information. The problem. New content always makes older content irrelevant. Yes, preach. My pets from a year ago, poof, long gone. But then usually the moment a new update drops, almost all the previous content in the game becomes worthless and for the most part, entirely irrelevant. Presta doesn't care, right? No. Let's use Pet Sim as an example. If you spent days farming the best pets of the game, then those pets will become irrelevant once the next update drops. Why? Because the new pets will be substantially stronger. So there's no point in using the old ones anymore. Boom. Got him. Got him. I like where Creek is going with this. And even if you do like Pet Simulator, you know that this is a real thing, bro. Okay. This is just how these games go. These are pay to win games and they're so fun. Like, do not get me wrong. I love a good Pet Simulator X. Like, it's so good. But let's keep reading. This creates a constant cycle where nothing you do in the game really matters because every time there's an update, your power level just gets reset to whatever the new pets are. The time you put into farming is pretty much wasted. Now, there's a few exceptions. People who want to collect every pet will still do so. However, there's no way that the majority of simulators fall into that category. I imagine most people want the progress to the end and have the best pets. Exactly. Couldn't agree more. Everyone wants the best pets and, you know... I'm like, well, like, bro. This means that for most people, simulators will only matter and get played for a few days after each update drops. There's nothing keeping people playing in between. There needs to be some sort of system that keeps older content relevant for longer periods of time. Okay, you know what? I love it, Creek. I could not agree more. And you know what? Let's see what people say. Bruh. Great. <laughs> Nice, uh, let's scam bot. I totally agree. I mean, there's a simulator for everything nowadays. And when you go on Pet Simulator X, you really are just buying the new things. And I want you guys to have fun and play the game so much. But just remember, be careful with how much money you spend because you could just really just one day want to take your mom's credit card, which never do that because if you do that, you will lose all trust with them, okay? Just don't do that. But... If you have your own money and you have some Robux that, you know, you got as a gift, be careful where you spend it. You don't want to spend it on a pet that's going to be useless in a month. You want to spend it on a drippy shirt like this guy. Look at that. Alrighty, so now we're in Pet Simulator X. Let's take a look at the brand new pets because I remember when I used to... Hey, yo, what the heck? Are these like all new or something, bro? I got some good money right there. So you get take, you know, it says I'm the best. Let's get some pets out. See, now this is the issue is when I used to play back like, you know, a few months ago, these pets were the best. Now I could give this to someone and they literally would not care, bro. It's all about the exclusivity. Like, look at like, let me go for this box. Like, hello, hello. And did they ban me from this game? Okay, that's what I thought. I said, what's the best pet out right now? And they said, these are mine good. All right, let's find out the opinion. If this guy says mine are good, that means the game may have a little bit of hope. He said, they're all right. See, this is exactly what Creecraft was talking about, bro. Live interview. So you're saying my pets are outdated. Someone in the chat said, what's your highest number, Poke? And I said, uh, 64 bill. So... They're gonna probably laugh. Way, way, way old. He said, your pets are not that good, but it's you're good enough to get past the game. Trade me. Hey, yo, what? So this is what I have in two trillion. They up, they're up to two trillion now? Bro, I feel like a boomer. He's gonna just give me these? No way, bro. Holy mother. Look at these things. 1.5 billion of them exist. What? Gotta let him know. Thank you. Much love to this guy. He just gave me some crazy good pets, but it just makes me think, guys, be careful with how much money you put in this game because that guy right there is probably grinding to get these pets, but guess what? It's gonna come a point where this two trillion becomes four trillion, then five trillion, then ten trillion, and then after a trillion. What's after and after a trillion? I haven't been to school in years. I don't remember. He wants to send me more. I just said, show me the highest value pet just to see. 169 trill? Well, that's just what I learned today, everyone. This game is only going up. I used to have the best ones, okay? I used to have the good ones, and now huh, it's up to 100 and something trillion. What? And now that the theory is officially tested, I can respond to Creek and say, some kid just told me my pets are all right. <sighs> Literally. <clears throat> you know, I, I really just was curious if Poop Simulator was a thing, but I just like cannot believe my dang eyes. Poop Eating Simulator? Diarrhea. Poo. Pee. Fart. Long ago. The four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Poop Nation attacked. Only the Poopatar, the tomb of all. Four Albert! Wait, what the? 
consumer of all four. And then it just ends. Let's try her out. So I'm in a world where poop has taken over the entire city. There's eight hidden Easter poos. Oh, it's, up. it's an updated game. All right, so time to go eat some poop. Do I get bigger from eating the poop? For sure. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat a lot of poop. Ooh, that's kind of weird to say. I don't like that. Don't eat poop, please. Wait, this one's like a king one. It's got a crown. Hey, yo, what? I'm getting big. Nice. The top 50 most boring things. Being stuck in traffic, standing in line, being on hold. Yeah, I, I get it. Oh my god, come on. I got places to be. Dang. You know, I get really embarrassed when I think about how it's going to say friend activity and it's going to just say poop eating simulator and traffic jam simulator and fall off a building. And I, I, I wasn't going it, to. It was okay. Oh, nothing like it. I just gotta clean all this junk off of here. Why do it in real life when you just do it in Roblox? Literally, it's just so simple. Okay, let's get the. Let's get the. Mom. Let's get the. Let's get the. Mom. Let's get the. Mom. I. No. You can't tell me that duck doesn't look awesome. I'm literally. I have to be that guy. All right, let's see what the fuss is all about. Heck, a ton of friends are playing it. So many players. <laughs> Hello Kitty Cafe. Let, let's try her out. Why not? Oh my gosh. It's Hello Kitty. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I'll buy a billboard. Oh, I don't have money. Hey, it's a cafe. Hello Kitty Cafe. Coffee, sir? You don't get out of my face right now, you little... Okay, I'm out of here. All right, let's just go this way. Just go into the abyss of the tunnel and... Well, if there's one life motto, it's always this. If you can't go through the tunnel, you probably shouldn't go through the tunnel. 